because I had the opportunity to teach at a business school here in Paris. So I jumped on the opportunity, packed up all my stuff, jumped on the plane, and here we are, Paris, France. So I'm teaching a wine and spirits course at the business school here, and the course was European wines. So all the wines of Europe outside of France, and then the other course was luxury wine and spirits. So my previous career, I was an information technology security consultant. Um, so that's a mouthful. So what that really means is I sat behind a computer typing all day. So complete computer nerd. Bet you weren't expecting me to say that. But it drove me to drink. So that's actually how I got into the wine. So it all ties in. I like to kind of help people along with what is like the next new thing or the next it thing. But my main focus is just getting people to feel comfortable with wine. For them being able to clearly articulate what they like, what they don't like. So when they go into a wine shop, they can say, hey, um, I want a red wine with a little bit of tannin, more red fruit, no oak. Like they can have that kind of conversation. And not in the snooty, pinky up, uh, I taste a little bramble. Like not in that kind of way, but just in the basic, I'm having dinner with friends, I want to take a nice bottle, what can I get? And then being able to be satisfied every time. Um, but the project I'm most excited about is right here in Paris, which is my walking wine tours. And with that, we go to a wine bar, a wine shop, and then a grocery store. And I just kind of walk with people and just explain French wine to them. Tell them about the labels, the regions, what some of the grapes are, and just help them understand as much as I can in the time that I spend with them. Help them understand and get some type of grasp on French wine. I think I'm very driven. The fact that I just picked everything up and moved to a different country where I don't even know the language. I'm proud of myself that I did it. I've always loved the city. Once I got into wine, I had the opportunity to travel to France to go to some other wine regions and I would always stop in Paris. And there was just something about it here that I just always just felt connected to and just had this great affinity for. And when the opportunity presented itself in Paris, I knew that this is where I belong. So here I am. Trying something, for one, like again, not being fearful and just trying it is definitely one of the keys. Another key to success is be around successful people or be around other people who are doing things. You're never gonna get anywhere if you're around other people that just don't have any real goals, don't have any ideas, just aren't pursuing anything in their life. Whether it's, they don't have to be entrepreneurs. I mean, they could be someone that has a nine to five and they are, you know, kick a butt in that nine to five. That's fine. but. Surround yourself with other people that are um, just, you know, doing it big or just doing things. I've learned so much about myself. <laughs> I've learned just how much I can take, like just how much I can handle. And it's always more than I thought I could. Like, I know that I'm a survivor. Um, I know that I can adapt to most situations. Um, I know that I can live in a different place and be completely in you know unfamiliar with my surroundings and not have a friend or family member anywhere around and i'll be okay especially if i have a bottle of wine glass of wine who has motivated me in my life i did a, just a quick little study on uh, some uh, famous African Americans who came to Paris and made it big or just made it and they definitely gave me motivation to keep going. So one that sticks out for me is um, Eugene Bullard. The reason his story stuck out to me is because in every situation he like was able to excel and he also just never stuck with just one thing. He was a fighter pilot, he was in vaudeville, he was a boxer, he was a jazz music musician, he was a club owner. He was able to just quickly change and move around and be able to adapt to the situation. And I think in today's society that's kind of how you have to be. You have to have multiple talents, multiple gifts, and just be able to use them. Another was um, 
Bricktop Smith, and she, her name was Ada, and they called her Bricktop because she had this fiery red hair. And she opened um, a few jazz clubs in Paris. She is someone that just had such an infectious spirit that everybody just wanted to be in her presence. And, I mean, who really doesn't want to be like that? Who doesn't want to be someone that people are just naturally drawn to and want to do things for and want to, you know, be around? You know, I appreciate them for forging a path before me so that I could just keep going and keep moving. My biggest life lesson has been at the end of the day, when all is said and done, I'm laying in bed about to just close my eyes and go to sleep for the night. Am I happy with myself? Am I happy with the decisions that I've made? Um, and if I am, then I'm good. And I'm saying that to say, I can't worry about what other people think, what they think about my decisions, what they think about what I'm doing. At the end of the day, am I happy with myself? That is what's most important. And that was a lesson that I really had to learn. The fear will never get you anywhere. Um, uh, yeah, the saying goes, everything that you want in your life is just on the other side of fear or like just outside of your comfort zone. I mean, I had the nine to five in um, my previous career and I was making the money and living comfortably and living a very nice, very nice life, but I wasn't happy. So there's something to be said about stepping outside of your comfort zone, making yourself a little uncomfortable. Because I knew there was something inside of me that was more than and better than and greater than what I was doing. If you have something that's inside of you and you feel this way, you have to, I mean, you have to go for it. And, you know, don't worry about failure because if you're that passionate about it, you're that go hard about it, you're not going to fail. And just the simple fact that you tried, that means you didn't fail because you tried. So, I just say, like, you... Don't be scared coming from somebody who left their family and friends and moved across the ocean to another country. But, like, don't let fear stop you from anything you want to do. I mean, if you want to do it, do it. I think you will never regret trying something different. Um, whether it works out for you or if it doesn't, I don't think you'll ever look back and say, wow, I never, ever, ever should have done that. You'll look at it and think of how you could do it different, or you'll learn something from it. Everything is a lesson, but I definitely think if there's something that you want to do, something that you want to try, and you don't, you will always look back and with the regret or with the what if, and you don't you don't want to live with what ifs.